One thing we've spent a lot of time looking at in this channel is the weird and interesting time before Pokemon fully became a full-fledged thing. There's something really unique about the releases of things before the Pokemon games ever came out that explicitly stand out in their own way. And one thing that's incredibly unique is if you look at the Pokemon anime, the very first episode that ever aired in the English dub actually wasn't the very first episode of Pokemon. It actually was the 15th episode to broadcast first. And of course, with something as obscure as a switcheroo prior to the show getting a regular chronological airing, the specifics as to how this episode somehow managed to get to the front of the broadcast and how they even presented it to kids across the country ready to watch this show for the first time is actually really unique, especially considering this slowly turned into lost media with how nuanced this specific broadcast was. But let's go back to the very beginning. In America, the release of Pokemon Red and Blue was already a risky move for Game Freak, and a lot of the top people at Game Freak were really unsure at the possibility for Pokemon being successful in the North American audiences. And one plan for its release was to correspond the release of the game with the new anime television series, which also received a dub, so that kids who ended up watching the television broadcast would become fans and convince their parents to buy them Pokemon and a Game Boy. The television series would end up airing on WB Kids September 8th, 1998, with the episode Pokemon I Choose You, and Pokemon Red and Blue would release later on that month on September 28th. And while the plan was for the Pokemon show to introduce kids to Pokemon and to the games as well, it was likely that the execs at WB wanted their new show Pokemon to do incredibly well, but was worried about a drop off after the first episode would air, as the first episode of Pokemon doesn't have the full cast of characters and also had a little bit of a slower start since it was the very beginning of the journey. So the decision was made. One day before the show would premiere, they would pick an exciting and upbeat episode that had all of the cast characters and a good representation of the Pokemon to air almost to serve as a teaser cliffhanger to get kids hooked on the storyline and go back to the very beginning. The unique part is the episode they picked was Battle Aboard the St. Anne and if you watch this episode, the 15th episode in the first season of Pokemon, you would know that it features Ash and everyone else on a boat that begins to sink and the episode kind of ends in this very bleak direction but the most unique part about this entire episode is the fact that this version of the broadcast was also different from the actual airing of this episode, as the narrator has a bunch of extra lines prefacing that when the show would come back the next day, it would go all the way back to the beginning with episode one, and kids would have to watch all of the episodes leading up to that episode and through that episode to get the conclusion, which wouldn't happen for another 20 plus days or so. In a way, it kind of makes sense that they would choose an episode as action-packed as Battle of board the St. Anne as you see things like Team Rocket, you see Pokemon trading and other Pokemon trainers, and you do get to see some of Ash's Pokemon or some of the other big Pokemon along the way, though that cliffhanger was pretty intense if you think about the order of episodes now. Now what's really unique of course about this is since this episode was technically different from the original broadcast, it became a big search within the Pokemon community to try to resurface or discover the original airing and the original first broadcast of the anime, which would have been Battle Aboard the St. Anne, but with those extra narration lines making this episode the prologue to the main story. The big problem was with Pokemon not actually being a released game just yet, and no one really knew what Pokemon was in the United States or even in Europe, as both the games and technically the anime never aired, there wasn't really a lot of motivation for anyone out there to jump on and try to record the episode, especially since it was a kid show. So for quite a while, there actually was no version of this broadcast ever surfaced amongst the fan community, and the broadcast of this episode never aired again. All subsequent broadcasts of Battle Aboard the St. Anne would use the regular version that didn't have this prologue to the first episode, as obviously the episode aired later on, chronologically. A lot of fans eagerly wanted to hear this dialogue line or hear this narrator line at the end because in a way this was 
was the first time any authoritative voice for Pokemon would be introducing the franchise for the first time. And the thing that made this episode significant across the Lost Media community, especially with Pokemon fans, is the fact that there was a ton of proof of its existence, where other types of media that is rumored to exist has very weak links or weak ways to try to follow up and check the historical records. But since this was something that did make it on broadcast, it was there outright that Pokemon did have a debut one day earlier than the actual airing of the first episode. And there were a lot of fans who were on websites in the late 90s who even talked about remembering this episode or talking about the episode all the way back then. Though once again, nobody recorded that very first episode, though that episode did serve as the introduction to Pokemon for a lot of kids. And while a lot of fans held on to hope that maybe one day it would resurface in one way or another, maybe whoever owned the rights to the Pokemon anime would just release it online or something like that as some sort of special. But in 2016, something massive happened with this specific piece of media. One user on the Lost Media Wiki actually found the original first preview broadcast of Pokemon in their VHS tape recording collection that they had. Now on this user's page, they talked about moving a few years ago and that they had a 600 plus VHS tape archive and they were going through different things that may have been of some sort of value to convert into a video file. And one of those, the biggest discovery, of course, was that first broadcast of Pokemon Battle Aboard the Saint Anne sneak peek version. So they would go ahead and fulfill a ton of fans' requests and uploaded it online so that fans could see and witness how the introduction to Pokemon was for North American audiences. And some of the biggest differences from this first episode was, of course, the introduction that kind of prefaced the fact that this was a preview for something later on in the show. Welcome to this special exclusive preview of Pokemon. For this sneak peek, let's pick up the adventure as our heroes are departing for Million City. As always, Brock, Misty, and Pikachu join Ash on his quest to become a Pokemon master. So besides that alone, it was really cool to get to see a original broadcast of Pokemon uploaded in its 30 minute entirety. Something that a lot of Pokemon fans may forget from back in the day, but the amount of commercials that went in between Pokemon episodes were absolutely egregious. And of course, this recording was completely unedited. So you can see all of the commercial breaks that actually went into it. And it's like the intro music plays, commercial break, the episode jumps on for a second, another commercial break thrown in there too. But in a Way, it was really charming to see this first ever broadcast in its original format even with the commercial breaks injected right there. Now the rest of the episode does play out pretty regularly to how you would see this episode in its main version. However, once again, at the end of the episode, it does end on a very big cliffhanger with Ash and friends and even Team Rocket unconscious in a sunk boat. And it's really interesting hearing the narrator describe the situation and how all of the answers will be revealed after they go back to the beginning of the story and you see how they all got to know each other and whatnot. And as the Saint Anne heads to the bottom of the sea, our heroes are trapped unconscious inside, and so is Team Rocket. Could this be the end? How will they escape their watery fate? Those answers will be coming soon enough, but tomorrow will take you back to the beginning to find out how everybody met and to discover how this incredible Pokemon adventure all began. And then after that, there was another commercial and then the Poker Rap would come back. And as per normal, the episode does have the full Poker Rap and regular outro that the Pokemon show had. Interestingly enough, the Poker Rap is actually from the set that would air at the end of the week, which contains the last part of the song. And you're supposed to go back and combine it with the rest of the song to learn all of the Pokemon names in order which is kind of interesting that they kept the poker rap in that typically would be at the end of a week, even though this would be the start of the entire series. They didn't pick to start at the front of the song and continue it through the next episodes. So kids watching this might've been a little confused when they're like, just combine it with the rest of the song that you never actually heard. But nonetheless, it was an incredible find. And it's really unique that there's a piece of Pokemon media out there like this that went undiscovered for quite a long time. And to an extent, it's something that not a lot of people really even know or remember. So often they were introduced to Pokemon for the first time by just jumping onto whatever episode was on the air or 
they rented the VHSs at Blockbuster, which of course started with the first episode, and the episode that had the St. Anne were grouped together with the rest of the episodes in sequential order. I would never actually knew before working on this video and diving into this topic that before the first episode there was even something different. And that's something really unique about Pokemon, and a lot of these very intricate details or funny nuanced things are forgotten a lot of times by much of the Pokemon community. And this is a really cool reminder as to how unsure the big companies that were involved in Pokemon really were about whether or not this would end up becoming a success in North America. Obviously, if they would have known Pokemon would blow up into the huge thing that it was, maybe they wouldn't make some of these same moves that were very carefully calculated. But at the same time, maybe by putting this episode first and having this episode zero type prologue, it got kids into Pokemon sooner and made those initial sales that much better. But we would love to know what you guys think if you're interested in all of these very specific and historical facts about Pokemon, I do encourage you to subscribe to this channel. We look at different things from lost media to interesting things about the Pokemon anime, and your subscription would go a long way. Otherwise, that is it for today. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.